Hi, and welcome to Anne Marie's workshop. My name is Anne Marie, and I love to make things. If you love to make things, please like, subscribe, and share. Now, this video is a designer review. Um, a few weeks ago, um, on a forum, I was asked what my favorite pattern company was, and I realized that some of the reasons I love Vogue patterns were the designers. And so I thought I would do a quick review of some of the things I've made from some of my favorite designers. So this video is about Tom and Linda Platt. I absolutely love their designs. I have a great deal of their patterns. <laughs> about this many of their patterns over the years that I have made for myself and made for other friends and my daughters and everything. So this is Vogue 1691 and it is um, for every pattern type, every body type. And here's the line drawing. And the magic of this dress is the fact that it uses parallel lines to make a chevron pattern on the side. And that chevron pattern is just magic as it flutters in the breeze. I wore this at the Golden Eye um, Resort in Orca Besa, Jamaica, the James Bond Resort, and it was magic. And I will show you pictures of me wearing it over here. It is easy on the body, easy on the eyes. It was made special by the fact that this rayon print from Melanated Fabrics. This fabric is not available anymore. I made this in 2021, I believe, yes. So it's no longer available, but you could substitute many other things to replicate this stripe design. It is just a lovely pattern and part of the reason why I love Tom and Linda Platt. Now, this is Vogue 1804. I made this pattern earlier this year during the color block challenge, and I absolutely loved it. It was really, really beautiful. Here is the line drawing. And as you can see, that rectangle shape is there because I'm an apple-shaped woman. I wish I could show it to you in person, but it has gone on to another friend. The colors I used, I'll show pictures of it here and video of it here beautiful make, but it suited my friend. It wasn't for my color. Uh, it wasn't my color palette, but it was my friend Linda's color palette. So it has gone off to Georgia to visit and live with her. <laughs> but this is another great design by Tom and Linda Platt. Now this is pattern 1737. It is five layers of deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to be patient. This is five layers of Italian Georgette, and it is beautiful. I'll show a picture of me wearing it. Um, it can go to a wedding. It can go to a resort. It can go to any special occasion. It is super, super feminine, super soft. The sleeve has an extension on it as well. It's just lovely. It would be wonderful with ombre colors, but you have to realize that it's one, two, three, four, oops, my bad, five layers. So it is a delight. It flutters in the wind. It's gorgeous. It's super feminine, super forgiving, made for apple shapes. Uh, part of the reason I really love Tom and Linda Platt is they always have a pattern that provides for an apple shape or a rectangle um, where there are some designers that they're really not um, designing for my shape. And that's okay because Tom and Linda Platt are. Now this is Vogue 1665 with this asymmetrical shirt and the skirt. I made mine with the skirt um, and it's a lovely uh, dinner outfit. It's a lovely church outfit. 
it's a lovely meet with friends it's it's very 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 chic and it offers a great display space for a signature piece of jewelry so i will show you a picture of me wearing it in the usual place i made this in a doe suede um it was a very um it's a very easy uh make well, more average they say but i found it it wasn't that too bad it's very very forgiving it allows for a larger allows for a tummy it allows for a larger waistline and it's very very chic now it also it comes with pencil pants if you choose to do that i did the pencil skirt but it's another tom and linda plaid design now when i was thinking about what i was going to wear to my son's wedding this was my number one choice i found this beautiful charmeuse um at a uh, house of fashion in houston downtown and it is vogue 1614 one six one four and once again there's that shape for me it was beautiful to make i will show you to you fluttering the breeze now unfortunately i had made this dress one year out of my son's wedding and then the covid pandemic happened and they were unable to have their full out wedding they did have a an elopement so they, on the day that they were supposed to have their big splash of a wedding, they ended up uh, having a wedding on the side of a, uh, on a side of a mountain in uh, uh, Texas Big Bend Park. I'll show you a quick little picture of it here. It was beautiful and stunning. And then we wrapped right around the next year and had that wedding. Well, so I guess that's two weddings, right? But this is a semi-fitted line dress it has another asymmetrical overlay it is beautiful and another example of great tom and linda platt design now going through my patterns i notice i have two of these they are the same pattern um uh pattern 1620 i believe i stole my daughter's <laughs> Um, I made her this set while I was there, the pants, the jacket, and the shirt. Um, hopefully I have some pictures of it and I'm inserting it around here somewhere, but it was a wonderful work, uh, outfit. She had a raw pumpkin colored or rust colored, um, um, linen, uh, it was a it's beautiful fabric. Um, she's very, her coloring is completely different from mine. So I think she's more of a fall, whereas I'm a spring. So um, um, it was lovely to sew. And I guess I haven't got on, I bought the material for mine, but I guess since I sew recently in May, sewed hers, might take me a little bit longer to get around to it. In the meantime, I have this one cut out in a beautiful red charmeuse. I have, I, I didn't get make that. I made this maybe 20 years ago. I'm not sure, but I made this in a beautiful boucle, light blue boucle, the, the, um, the dress and the coat. I don't know what happened to it. It was beautiful, beautiful. I'm intrigued by this one. That looks good to me. Oh, I have so many. This is a dream. See that ombre? Don't have anyone where to wear it. I know that never stopped me before, but I haven't run into those fabrics. This is one of my favorite shapes and dresses, the one with the release pleats. I haven't done that yet. And I have more. So I just wanted to let you show you that I would have I would love if you would discover this designer if you've never bought anything for Tom and Linda Platt before. Um, maybe they look super difficult or maybe they just didn't seem your cup of tea, but if you see the, um, that I make them and that I love them, it might intrigue you. And this is just a little glimpse of Tom and Linda Platt. You keep making.